This week's Torah portion presents a number of challenges. Ki as it is known from the first two words in the Torah portion, has 74 mitzvot. That's more mitzvot than any other portion in the whole of the Torah. And what a selection they are. There's the immediately appealing mitzvot, the ones that still speak to us over time. Like, for example, if you find something of your neighbor's that is lost, then you must not ignore that, but you must return it to your neighbor. Indeed, the same rule goes even if that person is your enemy and not your friend. Then there's the laws that it's very hard to make any kind of sense of at all. The ones that open the Torah portion, for example, about how a person who captures a woman in war is to conduct himself with her afterwards, or worse, how parents are to deal with a child who becomes stubborn and rebellious. And then there are the laws that just seem completely bizarre and don't seem to make any kind of rational sense at all. We can't wear wool and linen together in the same garment. Why not? Well, because in the way that a parent will respond to a child when they're tired of hearing why, because I say so. What are we to do with this barrage of information, some of which seems to make sense, some of which seems primitive, some of which seems nonsensical? Rashi, that great medieval commentator, has the answer for us in the same way as he does on so many other occasions. The answer is that by these rules, the Torah is calling us in. She's saying, Darshani, interpret me. This is a critical thing to keep hold of when we live in an age of growing religious fundamentalism, growing literalism when it comes to reading sacred texts. Over 2,000 years ago, our rabbinical tradition decided that we are to be a tradition of darsheni, a tradition of interpretation, a tradition that has the audacity to take issue even with sacred text. And so this Torah portion, really, if we are to draw a message from all that variety, is inviting us in. It's saying to us, interpret me. It's saying to us, engage with me. It's saying to us, disagree with me, if you will, but stay in relationship with me. Because the way that Jews have stayed in relationship with their sacred text is one of the reasons that we are still here today, that I can say these words to you. That was your Torah in two.